question, what is it really like to open your own company? Is it worth the risk? In a new Cortex survey poll on K92, 72% of K92 listeners said they would open their own company if they could, while 27% said they would not. But do those who decide to up and quit their jobs to become their own boss understand the work ahead and the risk they're taking? Joining us to discuss, Linda McNutt Foster, CEO of Cortex Leadership Consulting, and Bart Smith, Director of Roanoke Regional Small Business. Good to see both of you. So let's start with you, Linda. What do you think is the big distraction here? What's leading these people to want to open their own business? So a few months ago, we talked about a Gallup poll that said that 67% of people were disengaged at work. Mm -hmm. I think there's a real correlation. I, I actually see a lot of people running away from something instead of towards something. And I think that's a big yeah. difference um, in people that are really successful long term in opening their own businesses. And Bart, let us ask you, what does it take to open up your own business? Some people are a little too optimistic, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it takes a lot of insanity. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. But no, <laughs> you know, they are extremely optimistic. And I agree 100% with Linda. The situation is more of running from something instead of to something. And the one thing I see people lacking, um, they try to start too big. You know, I, I tell people all the time, don't quit your day job. Don't quit your day job. Start small. Start on the side. Make it a side gig. See if you can really, um, you know, spend the time, the energy. And if you can't do it as a side gig, you're not going to be able to do it as, as, as a full-blown business. So, so give yourself a chance. Keep your... Paycheck Ferry's wonderful, love it every two weeks, it's awesome. <laughs> but, but, you know, start on the side and really see if there's a market out there. See if, see if you really want to do this every single day for 12, 14, 15 hours a day and, and make sure it's, it's something you're truly passionate enough about. Because, yeah, people are absolutely optimistic. It's human nature. Now, is that the difference then from being successful and failing in a small business, either starting out small or, you know, just diving feet in first? The majority, once businesses start up, the majority of businesses don't fail because it was a bad idea or the person didn't know what they were doing. They, they fail because they didn't have enough money to reach profitability. Mm. They run out of money. So jumping in, you know, both feet, great. You know, it, it, you know they say if you want to make a little money in business, start with a lot. It's true. <laughs> well, I think, there, I, yeah, and I, I would agree. Uh, capital is really important, but I also think overcapitalization can be just as bad, oh, no, it right? Can be. Yeah, absolutely. Right, because that guerrilla marketing kind mm -hmm. of space where you don't have a lot of resources, but you have to work really hard, and they mm -hmm. must succeed. Money can sometimes mask. Yes other yep. problems Absolutely. so it's I, this is tricky think about it as a small business owner you have to be an accountant you have to be a marketer you have to trust me you got to know sales so if you hate sales don't go into business for yourself and guess what those beautiful benefits that you get those sick leave yeah the fact everybody always goes I was in a class one time and they were talking about why do they want to open their own business and it was freedom and money and Ooh. I thought oh yeah don't be open to an own business if that's what you want <laughs> well, then you have to know that you can lead other people as well. That's right. That's right. And, yeah. and business is a, if you're not a people person, you really, really need to think about what you're doing because business is working with people. And if you're not a people person, you're going to really struggle because people do business with people they like mm -hmm. I don't know, across the board. And if, you, and, if you, and if you're just not a people person, find somebody that is and put them in charge. And so tell us very quickly, Linda, for those people who are questioning, what are the trade-offs here? What are some of the pros and what are some of the cons of starting your own small business? Yeah, it's great to get a paycheck every two weeks. That's what happens when you work for somebody else. You don't know whether they're getting one or not, but you're always getting one. You usually get some type of benefits. Right, and so you may not have those huge spikes, but you're also not taking the risk. So I don't think people really weigh, uh, you know, yeah. effectively enough how much risk you're actually taking when you start a small business, and whose money are you risking? Is it you? Is it your retirement? Mm -hmm. Those type of things. Yes. So. Um, be grateful if you get a paycheck this Friday. It's That's an awesome. important conversation. <laughs> Thanks both of you for joining Thank us. You. For more information on starting a new business, find this story on our website. That's virginiafirst.com.